Hey, what is going on everybody? It's me, Euro here, and today is the day to show you guys that I have finally reached 100,000 miles on this Mercedes C350 W204 chassis. It's hard to tell that this car is about 100,000 miles now, considering how much I clean this every single week. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but you know, I always try my best to keep my cars clean. Absolutely love this car. This is the first time I've never had any problems in the car. This is one of those cars that is just really well built. Aside from the minor issues here and there and the interior pieces with the plastics, these German cars with the plastics in the early 2000s don't really end up pretty well in the 2020s. But other than that, I really, really don't have any significant issues. The only thing I need to do is make sure it is in tip top shape when it comes to the engine, drivetrain and whatnot. Uh, so far, the only thing I need to do with the engine wise is do the spark plugs and coil packs and air filter. That is a service B. I haven't done that, so I will be doing that and that will be another video. Another thing I need to do with this engine is the cam plugs. Uh, they're made out of plastics and they're located in the back of the engine. Very simple to fix. It's actually right there. They tend to leak out oil, but so far it's not too bad here, but I might as well just do it. The, another thing this car will probably suffer the most when it comes to just going bad in general is probably the suspension. I drive in Baltimore. That means that suspension will probably won't last that long, especially with the sports suspension and whatnot. Brakes so far are still pretty good. I'd say about 40% left on the pads. Since I drive highway a lot, it doesn't really wear out as much as city driving. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the interior. Now, when you open this car, this is what it looks like exactly every week. Since I drive so much, I really care about how clean the interior is. And I want to make sure everything on the interior is pristine and clean. All the crevices and all the cup holders and whatnot, I want to make sure they're in good, clean condition. And let's go ahead and sit down. This is the interior from the passenger side. As you can see, it is very well maintained in my opinion at least. Obviously, the plastics aren't holding up so well, especially the AC vents, which is a very common issue on this car. That's exactly why I said there are some issues with this car, but not engine related or drivetrain related. It's more on the interior where like the plastic bits and pieces here are just falling apart. Like this air vent right here. One night it just gave up on me. Couldn't really care less because that's where I put my phone. Really don't see it. So, you know, I really have no reason to worry about it. <laughs> now, since I drive a lot with this Mercedes, I make sure that all the mileage are counted for, for my work especially. And these are all the mileage I've done so far. So I started this car at 83,000 with work, and then now I'm at 100,000 and still counting on. Anyway, that's the front passenger side. As you can see, it's very clean. And honestly, the only thing that really is an eyesore are the plastic bits like the lock and unlock button and the window switches. But other than that, these still work, it's just not really pleasing to the eye. So these are regarded as one of the most reliable modern Mercedes you can get. The W204 chassis C-Class and the W203 was still good. However, this is just much, much better with the revised engine and all. Personally, I think this is the best way to go since it has still the modern looks. That looks like a car from 2015 or something like that. Ooh. All right, anyway, moving on to the other side, it's still very clean. As you can see. <laughs> and now we move on to the driver's side. This is probably where this has the most wear and tear. Now, one thing you'll notice is that I do have a rep seat over here. I really care about it as long as it works, but also because this is really a very simple fix. All you have to do is just buy a seat replacement and call it a day but so far it's not too bad although it is an eyesore again like the switches here and there personally i don't really think it's worth the time especially since this is my daily and but anyway guys that's pretty much it this is a mercedes c350 that i got six months ago it has finally reached 100,000 miles i can't wait to reach 200,000 miles with this thing and i'm sure it won't be an issue as long as i do the maintenance i also can't wait to get the high mileage badge from Mercedes once I reach 155,000 miles. That's probably gonna be the fun part of this car is that I'm able to get awards for driving this much. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon.